Hi, I'm Sheila Christensen and I'm talking to you from my home in New Zealand. Uh, sorry we couldn't be there this year, but um, we are here virtually. So I, I would like to talk to you today about my books that I have with C&T. Um, if you were at Quilt Market last year, you may have seen the Quilts with an Angle book, which was launched at the beginning of last year. And there's now a companion book, which is the Quick and Easy Triangle Block Tool. And that was launched in February. So behind me, the quilt behind me is from the Quilts with an Angle book. And it's actually a partner to the front cover book, which is um, called Shadow Flower. So the blocks in both of these are exactly the same, but they are laid out differently. And that's really what happens throughout this book. It's got chapters on cutting different shapes, um, triangles, trapezoids, uh, parallelograms, diamonds, hexagons, and so on. All cut with a triangle ruler and all pieced without any Y seams at all. And we'll show you some of those quilts in a little while. Uh, but the chapters go through and show you two quilts in each chapter using a new shape, shape per chapter. And they're also structured as lessons. So that's something that you can use in your shop to get people excited about doing the triangle um, piecing. It's really fun to do. Um, the new book actually contains a hundred different blocks. So the techniques used are exactly the same as in the first book. And it's called the triangle, quick and easy triangle block tool. It's in the same sort of format as the other block tools that you'll already be familiar with. And you'll find an index in here, page 28. And that will show you all of the blocks that are in the book. So although it says it's a triangle block tool, it has blocks based on triangles. So there are triangle blocks, there are diamond blocks and hexagon blocks. So to use this tool, you find the block that you want to make. So for example, if you wanted to make this one, which is called Hampton Ladies, it tells you what page to look at. So we'd look at page 41. And on page 41, I know it's block number 41, excuse me. So on block number 41, it's Hampton Ladies. So we will find a picture of the block. Um, this is an exploded view to show you how it's pieced together and a picture of the actual block made. And then underneath there is a chart and it shows you what shapes you need to cut for four different sizes of the block. Below that, you'll find some options for laying out. And you can see that if you lay them out straight, you get an interesting pattern. But if you lay them out with them all pointed together in a kaleidoscope style, it's quite different. And I've done the same for all of the different blocks in the book. So you'll find that, um, for example, this block here, this is made up of, this is this quilt idea here, which obviously you can make into a block or a quilt. Um, so I've made the small version of this half pie block and I've made six of them and then put them together to make that layout. So the blocks go from really basic and easy to your more complex ones that are going to challenge your more advanced quilters. Um, so here are some of the other blocks that I've made. I had a lot of fun with fussy cutting. Um, there are some triangle blocks. There are some diamond blocks and with really interesting effects that you get when you put the different shapes in. Another diamond block. And then the hexagon blocks give you lots of opportunities for putting interesting fussy cutting in. And things, this one doesn't to me even look like a hexagon shape, but it is. And that's made up of, uh, that's a block that's actually in the book as well. Now, when you look at these charts, um, obviously with squares and half square triangles, most quilters know how to cut those shapes. With these shapes, they're quite new to people. So I've included at the beginning of the book, 
charts that show you how to cut every shape. It explains the difference between the different types of triangle ruler. So you may be aware that you can get triangle rulers that have a blunt tip. And the CNT, the clear view, has a, a pointed tip. And when I put them together, the lines are not exactly the same. So what I've done in the book is to actually explain the difference between the rulers so that people are quite clear. And when I teach this class, people pick up on that really easily. So you've got your different, it explains your different triangle rulers, but also we've included directions for cutting all of the shapes with a straight ruler and the 60 degree line, if that's your preference. So I've been teaching some free classes on Facebook um, using these techniques and they are still on my Facebook Live in a group called the Triangle Block Party. This is something that you could teach in your shop. Um, as a result of these classes, we have been selling triangle rulers, roll and presses, um, the corner cut tools, the books. Um, so lots of lots of different items that we've been selling while we've been on lockdown. People have been ordering them online because they see the class online and they want to make things now. So the books I've actually sold out and I've had to order more. The triangle rulers I've had to order more. It's been fantastic. So you may find that if you're not able to allow customers in the shop for classes at the moment, that could be something that will really help to boost the shop. Um, what we made in the class is this table runner. These are actually blocks that I don't think are even in the book, but they, I show them and tell them all about the book in the class. And so they want to go on and make more blocks once they've made this. And the pattern is there in the Facebook group. Um, I've done this in, I'd, I had actually made this in this colourway beforehand and we weren't even allowed out of our ho homes to begin with so I couldn't go down and pick my sample up from the shop so I ended up making a second sample for my class but it was really fun to do. And the other thing I've done with the blocks from this book is this is a block called Skateboard and I have a quilt that I've made that uses this block. So you can see the sort of effect that you get when you put these blocks together it's really interesting and fun and I think that's what's hooking people in is that it's something different they haven't done before it's a bit of a challenge um, but beginners can do it as well as more experienced quilters so this is called caravan and it's actually the first quilt in the first chapter of the book um, each of the chapters goes through lessons this is lesson one the 60 degree triangle and it has two quilts in this chapter. The first one being this one, which is called Caravan. It's a great beginning place for your customers to try um, because all of the shapes cut are triangles and some half triangles. Um, I used a fat quarter pack to do the colors and then I put in the dark gray, the lighter gray here for the half triangles. I used some of the black and whites from my fat quarter pack for these triangles and threw in some other fabrics as well. And then stuck with this darker grey for the triangles up here. So it's a simple construction and a really fun quilt to make. And this quilt is something that's for your more advanced uh, quilters. It's called Cosmic Rays and it comes from the parallelogram chapter of the book which means that I've introduced another shape which is the parallelogram and the block in this quilt is actually this one here it has diamonds triangles trapezoids and parallelograms in um, it's a fun quilt to make and looks amazing um, in all sorts of different colors so thanks very much for coming and watching my schoolhouse. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the quilts and the books. If you have any questions, my website is mysteryquilter.com. Pop on there and you can send me a message.